Criterion sale, you already know. One of the ones I would like to get today is Midnight Cowboy, but they only seem to have the DVD. I heard excellent things about this though. This might be a contender. Another contender. Election. Directed by Alexander Payne. Lady Bird. Phenomenal movie. DVD, $29.99. 10% off. Now it's $26.99. Overpriced. Ugh. They have this pretentious mess. Yuck. Two big contenders. Breakfast Club. And actually have the Blue Room in that cowboy. Had this film already. Has way different features though. That's why I want it. So bad. The Squid and the Whale. I'll pick this one up eventually. I'm in no rush, but this is a really underrated film. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's well worth it. I looked around, I could not find this one blu-ray either so that's a little unfortunate sandwich straw dogs the original from 1971 another contender a hard day's night I would upgrade this classic to blu-ray criterion but they only had the DVD unfortunately controversial I do still need Doctor Strange, $25 still. Good movie, but not worth that much, in my opinion. But I am getting blockers, so. Really fun film. One of my favorites of the year. Before I show the films that I got, I did get one CD from Barnes & Noble. Nirvana. Just a self-titled greatest hit CD. At least I think it's their greatest hits anyway. I can't even get the camera to focus. Can I get it to focus? A little. This basically has a lot of the popular songs like Smells Like Teen Spirit, Come As You Are, Man Who Sold The World and whatnot. Good stuff right there. Nirvana's one of my favorite bands. And now on to the movies that I picked up. This first one I consider a massive upgrade, The Breakfast Club. When I first heard that this was getting a Criterion, I was all for it. I already had the pop art slipcover one before it was announced that this was getting a Criterion release. But I think all the special features from that Blu-ray are transferred onto this. So I'm going to get rid of that one and keep this one. And another thing that's really awesome about this Blu-ray is that it has 50 minutes of deleted and extended scenes that is badass this is the first time that these deleted scenes have ever been put on a home video release for the movie so that's pretty cool and there's a ton of other new features on here as well second favorite movie of all time I heard Ferris Bueller is going to get a Criterion as well. Whenever that one comes out, I'm going to get it. Hopefully next time I go to the Criterion sale. Next up, Election. Don't know a whole lot about this one. Other than the fact that it has Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon. And that's directed by Alexander Payne. And that's a comedy. That's pretty much all I know. Don't know much about the story or anything, but... I've been kind of interested in this one for quite a while, and I was also a little excited when I heard that this was getting a Criterion. I thought that was kind of cool. And I think it's the first MTV movie to have ever gotten a Criterion. Definitely look forward to checking this one out. Same with this next one, Midnight Cowboy with Dustin Hoffman and John Voight. I know Dustin Hoffman has been accused of doing 
some not so good things, but I really like him as an actor, and I definitely want to watch more of his movies, so definitely had to get this one for the collection. One Best Picture in 1969, and it was the first X-rated movie to win Best Picture. It wasn't like a pornographic movie or anything from what I've heard, but it got an X rating because of the subject matter. But then after One Best Picture, it got an R rating. This is the most recent of the Criterions that I picked up. This one came out on May 29th of this year. Pretty cool. A lot of new features on this one as well. This next one is the only box set that I picked up. The Silence of the Lambs. Saw this one on TV years ago. Of course, since I was really young when I first saw this, I watched it censored or whatnot. But since I'm old enough to watch this movie, I can finally watch it in its full adulterated glory. Awesome cover art and everything. A lot of special features on this. This is another Best Picture winner. One over Beauty and the Beast back in 1992. Yeah, definitely look forward to watching this one in its adulterated glory. That should be fun. Sadly, not The Graduate. I was not able to find a Blu-ray of that. But I did find Straw Dogs. Another one I heard good things about. And they remade this one in 2011 with James Marsden and Kate Bosworth. If I really like it. I'll check out the remake at some point. Even though I heard it's not that great, but... I don't know, sometimes I like to check out remakes of old movies. Just see how they are. This one should be pretty good. I heard it's a really dark and twisted thriller. Really enjoy those, so... That was it for the Criterions that I picked up. Now onto the one and only thing I got from Wally World of All Places. Blockers. This came out yesterday. I was able to get it today. Really, really funny movie. I like this one a lot. I liked how we got three great R-rated comedies in a row. First being Game Night, and then Blockers, and then Tag, which I just saw yesterday and really enjoyed. And that's an interesting way to list your bonus features with emojis and everything. John Cena is hysterical in this one. Take his character from Trainwreck and basically give him his own movie and then put Leslie Mann and Ike Barinholtz on his side and then you get Blockers. Really good movie right here. A lot of fun. I expected this to be total crap because the marketing for this movie is really bad. It made it look like a really dumb movie but I ended up liking it a lot. So these are my finds for the day. Have you seen any of the films that I got here? Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, I definitely try to make it more entertaining than the Criterion Sale video that I did last year. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That was it for this video. Uh, see you in the next one. Don't you forget about me. And for my CDs, I got a tower for them.